All right, everybody, welcome back. Time to dive into the news this evening. Police in Smyrna have launched an investigation after finding human remains near some area softball fields. Investigators say that the discovery was made around 430 this afternoon, and according to police, the remains were near the Little Last Fields along Duck Creek Parkway. We're told detectives with SPD are working with the Delaware State Fire Marshal's office, the Attorney General's office, and the Chief Medical Examiner. No other information is available tonight, but as always, stay with 47 ABC for more on that case. All right, 18 years later, the case of a Dorchester County murder appears to be closed. Today, Maryland State Police arrested a man in connection to the 2001 murder of a correctional officer. 46-year-old Michael Ingersoll from East New Market was handed an indictment this morning from a grand jury. According to police, 31-year-old Gregory Guy Collins, a veteran of the Division of Correction and a member of the Maryland National Guard, was shot and killed in his truck on his way home on June 4, 2001. Ingersoll is now behind bars at the Dorchester County Detention Center awaiting his future trial. No further details have been made public at this time. Well, tonight, community members gathered at the Salisbury Amphitheater to raise awareness on the ongoing opioid crisis. Organizers for Why Comico Goes Purple say they know this is an issue bigger than the city, and that's why they plan to expand their reach across the county. United Way, Hudson Health Services, and an opioid intervention team were set up to add an extra layer of help. One coordinator for the event says if there's one thing people can take away from this event, he hopes people leave inspired knowing there is a community here ready to support them in their time of need. We're told churches in the area plan to go purple picking Sundays throughout the month to host seminars on opioids. Good evening. It is a mostly clear to partly cloudy night out there. This is a live look. Our Mullins Auto Broker Skycam in Bridgeville. Just a little bit of a breeze, but that breeze should calm down past midnight. A few weather watchers in Sussex County calling in. 68 for John and Fenwick and for Ted and Millsboro. 64 for Chucky and Lewis and a nice, cool, refreshing 60 for Bud in Laurel. Temperatures elsewhere. Inland areas cooler right along the coast. Near 70 degrees at 64 in Cambridge, 63 in Salisbury. Compared to last night at this exact same time, everyone is cooler by about 5 to 10 degrees because of that cold front that pushed through. Tonight, we're still expecting overnight lows to uh, drop down to near 60. I won't be surprised if a few spots drop down into the upper 50s with a partly cloudy sky and a light east wind. As we head into your Saturday, we'll call it partly sunny, but there will be a battle between the clouds and the sun. At times, it will be partly to mostly sunny. Other times, it will be mostly cloudy. Temperatures likely in the low 80s, so warmer tomorrow compared to today. We're going to go with a high of 81, maybe 82 in Salisbury tomorrow, 80 in Georgetown, 76 in Ocean City, Dover 79, maybe the mid 80s as we head towards the mid shore. So a little bit warmer there. If you're taking your boat out tomorrow, the winds much lighter compared to today. Uh, southeast wind 5 to 10 on the Chesapeake Bay. There is a bit of a breeze on the Atlantic, a uh, small craft advisory, and we're looking at a light wind southeast at 10. All right, what do we have here? Just into the weather center, tropical storm Umberto. This good news, it's going to stay offshore, but it will bring dangerous rip currents along the east coast through this weekend and probably into next week, but the track stays off the coast. Unfortunately, it will bring tropical storm conditions to the Bahamas. They don't need that. Lots of clouds here across the region tomorrow. Some sun, maybe a shower and a similar forecast as we head into your Sunday. Next week, though, looking gorgeous, especially Tuesday through Friday. Ryan. All right, Daniel, thank you very much. That's going to do it for halftime, as I like to call it. When we return, Delmarva Sports Insider Player of the Week. We got your nominees plus Delmarva Appliance Top 5 Plays of the Week. We're being rejoined by Drew Williams. Don't go away. Kevin Cussins, running back, Sussex Tech, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider. Perfect.